This is for improvements to 911 call answering facility, including the upgrade to 911 um, security system, new computer aid dispatch system. Um, I had the opportunity to uh, discuss yesterday with Commissioner Page number <coughs> items related to this. We went through um, the anticipated cost. The computer aided uh, dispatch system, which I think y'all are aware that when a call comes in, <coughs> for instance, if it is at one of your houses, the screen will automatically be populated with uh, pertinent information related to um, your particular address, <coughs> historical data if appropriate, uh, closest uh, ambulance, the closest fire station, etc. And that's how. That's what that system does, and we're looking to um, upgrade that. Um, we are actually looking at an increase uh, in the building of 911 center. Um, that anticipated cost is um, 792000 And uh, then we're also looking at uh, the security system for the 91 center. Uh, this does not include the radio, which is the, is the next line of public radio system. A question was raised um, by Commissioner uh, Page, and perhaps some of the rest of you related to the 911 facility and the EMC facility. We ran through that yesterday. I have information that I'll be happy to share with all of you that I shared with Commissioner Page. Uh, on, and he had the opportunity to talk to uh, Danny uh, Weeks, Ashley Ty, and uh, Chad McLeod. Uh, related to the use of both of those facilities, um, the design of both of those facilities, <coughs> how they differ, how they are similar. Uh, we did a cost analysis at the request of the Commission that if you were to uh, change the use of the EOC, uh, the cost is approximately $4.2 million, um, and that does not include the engineering cost. I'll be happy to give you all a breakdown on that. I think we covered most of that yesterday to uh, Commissioner Page's uh, satisfaction, um, but I know that others of you may have questions related to that that we will share um, with y'all. Uh, any of that data, Commissioner, you can comment on some of that. I'll comment on. I appreciate them putting that together. I have that report that they gave me yesterday, and uh, I think it was an hour well spent. I know I've discussed with y'all about looking at the possibility of, of moving it, and I, based upon the cost involved in doing something like that and design the building, my mind is settled with that now. I think it's something we don't need to deal with at this point. I think if we can look at ways of using the EOC for multi-purposes, but to me, moving the 911 center over there, that was an idea I had, but after uh, getting the information, I don't think that's something we ought to pursue right now, and it would be. Uh, I think one of the probably costs about as much as the whole building cost itself to build. <laughs> but I did find out that they're using it for some other things, and I asked uh, Joe if he could, from time to time, have Ashley tie this report to the commission for what the building's being used for. They're doing it for training. I didn't know all this <clears throat> myself until yesterday. Different uh, things. Red Cross is trained in there. Uh, other groups have used it, and if we can take these facilities and use them, and get our money out of them, even if we're using them for other purposes, and they become like multi-purpose, to me, is a is a good use of the people's money. It's not just sitting out there. At first, I was on the impression of things just sitting out there waiting for a hurricane or a terrorist attack. But if we are able to use it for other things, uh, even nonprofits like the Red Cross or something to train out there, I. I'm all for that. I just like to say, I, I, from my perspective, um, um, I guess it's only natural when you hear a $30,000 electricity bill uh, to wonder you know, how, 
how we generate the electricity bill. He didn't know uh, what type of use was taking place in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, 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 well, he can cool a thing just for yeah. uh, uh, keep bowls from growing and things like that. You know, you've got to. I'm sure that's a lot of it right there, isn't it, Joe? Just the uh, utility, I mean, the uh, heating and cooling and things like that. Sure. Chairman, can, you, can, you, yeah, can you explain that? Well, I, I can say it was worth the question, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, just, you know, it's, it's a, I mean, money for not cost on utilities is something about that. Uh, yeah. But it is the backup for the 911 center in the event that something does take place. Yeah, um, it, it, it's structured that a way to where they could bring in mobile command centers and pull them into the back in case something did happen to 911 and we could move forward with that, you know, with that, that first responder issue there. So, um, in my mind, it, I'm using it for, uh, I'm no longer thinking that that's something we ought to put 911 in that building, but, it, but uh, you know, talking to this gentleman yesterday, there are a lot of other things we can use it, start using it for, for training, Fire department might need to go in there if they have a class or something like that. <coughs> At least we're just putting this building to use instead of sitting vacant most of the time. Okay. Any other discussions on that? Okay. The next